Hello YouTubers, today I'm going to show you how to bring an axe to a mirror polish. As you can see this axe is is not too pitted so uh, it's going to eliminate uh, the excess grinding. Now I'm going to uh, grind the, the both faces of the axe with uh, 40 grit um, flap wheel disc, I guess they're called. I'm not sure if you can see this on the video, but there are a lot of uh, deep marks there. You can see it now. So I'm going to have to grind at it for a while. All right, I got uh I think I got all the deep grooves in there and the pits and uh I thought this axe was in good shape, but once you start sanding, it's incredible how deep those pits going in there. Uh, I've been uh grinding for about 2 hours uh with the 80 grit flap disc. Uh, yes, I could have used a regular grinder, um, but the problem with that is that uh, the metal can get so hot that you can damage the temper of the steel. Also, you can get really deep gouges in there. So uh, I prefer just taking my time using a flap wheel. Works great. Uh, 40 grit. Now I'm jumping to the flap wheel. 120 grit. Okay, this is the result of the 120 grit with the flap disc. There's still a lot of scratches left. Uh, I spent a lot of time on the 120 grit because I wanted to make sure that all the deep scratches from the, the 40 grit flat, flap wheel were removed. This is really important because if I don't remove the deep scratches from the 40 grit, and then I jump to the 240 grit, I'll never be able to remove those scratches. So I had to spend a lot of time on the 120 grit to remove all those deep scratches caused by the 40 grit flap wheel sandpaper. Um, even now, I'm not even sure if I spent enough time on the 120 grit, but I'm going to jump to the 240 grit and see what happens. Okay, so I started with the 40 grit. Then I jumped to the 120 grit, and now I'm going to start uh, keep going with the 240 grit. Now I'm going to keep grinding with the uh, 240 grit flap wheel disc, but uh, this time I'm going to be using WD-40, and that's going to bring out the shine and eliminate the deeper scratches. Okay, now we're going to finish the rest by hand. Uh, remember with the flap wheel we used uh, 240 grit I believe it was. So um, now we're going to jump to 300, 320 grit. Okay, now we're going to do 600 grit. And now we're going to do 1200 grit. So now finally after the 1200 grit you should be able to see a semi polish and um, you will see some very fine um, uh, lines uh, from the grit 
uh, if you see any coarse lines, uh, those were left by when you were just starting off with the 80 grit. Um, so if you see that, by now, because you've polished it with the 1200 grit, um, the, the coarser lines that were left behind will, will show really, really good. So if you see that, you have to start all over again. Start with the 120 grit until those those coarse lines are, are taken out and then you know work your way up again um, you know the wheel with the 240 grit and then uh, by hand 320 grit um, 600 grit 1200 grit and then you'll get like a semi shine uh, now we can go ahead and buff it with the Cecil wheel with some uh, coarse rubbing compound This is a coarse rubbing compound. Okay, now we're going to dress the wheel. And we're going to apply some medium grit. again now I'm going to apply the green compound for polishing Okay, now I'm going to use an even finer compound. And now I'm going to use the soft wheel. So that is my finished axe. There are a few scratches, very, very small scratches. Um, if I go back and spend more time on this 600 grit sandpaper and 1200 grit, um, I would get it perfect. But it's almost perfect I'm happy with it so I'm just gonna leave it I've been uh, work at this uh, almost all day long so anyway turned out pretty shiny I'd say <laughs>